Hey Ganya gang, welcome back to Ganya Farms. Today Mama Ganya went on vacation, so we're gonna take you around the homestead, do a few chores, and cook up some dinner later tonight. So stick around and uh, see what happens here when uh, Mama's away, right? Hey, if you guys like this video, uh, give me a thumbs up and uh, give me a comment. Tell me how I'm doing over here by myself with, uh, with the girls. So uh, check it out. Well, that looks like they're doing good in there. These guys are moving on out today. I'm taking them outside. They're pretty feathered out. I think they'll be fine. It's getting hot in here. Let's go check on the egg layers and see how they're doing. Well, they're all in the window waiting on me. They're usually out by now. Morning, ladies. Came out out. Hey. How's it going? Yep, yeah, they all like to come out and chase each other for a few minutes. You guys got any eggs in there for me? Mr. Rooster likes to peck. They've been laying right in the middle of the doorway. I have no idea why. That's probably because I got really crappy nesting boxes in here right now. I'm gonna get that one so it doesn't get broke. Let's see if I can find any more. That's probably about it. They usually lay through the day. see any other ones. He's got to kind of look around in the corners. That's where, they're, where they've been laying. So we're supposed to get a new set of um, nesting boxes today from a friend of ours that's not using them. So we'll uh, hopefully solve that problem. Well, we got the brush hog all hooked up here. I'm heading to go out back and uh, do a little brush hogging and we're gonna try to brush off the trail where I deer hunt, so let's go. Oh, brush hogging. About got her done. I don't know if you can see it over there, but uh, the tractor died on me, so it uh, gets hot, stalls, floods itself right away, so we're going to give it an hour and uh, come back and start her back up. She'll start right up as soon as it dries out a little bit. Just put it over the ball. So now we're going to move these chicky tractors over to the other yard. Huh? You want? Stinky old chickens out of our barn. Oh, sunny. Let to see. Well, we're gonna move them into the front yard, so yeah.
chickens do not like this. <laughs> These chickens are not happy. <laughs> they keep on crawling. Dad's all the way up there. Well, I can't keep up with him because he's fast and I'm not. He has a thing. He has a quad and I don't. It's okay. The quad didn't break. No, not like that. It's like it's just a thing because it has stuff in it. I think, and it's hard to get across this driveway. But this year we're moving them into the front yard instead of the backyard, so, yeah. So, here we go. Got our two chicken tractors over here. Bad. One. Yeah. Got our two chicken tractors in the front yard, this time not in the backyard. We already fertilized almost all of it. Two strips, really, but we're putting them in the we're putting them in the front yard instead of the backyard. It's just a little tiny area. We'll probably it will probably last like us like almost the whole entire weeks that we need. Probably like one more week that we probably will put them over there. The last week probably put them over there, somewhere over there. Yeah, got our chicken tractors over here. Now our house. It's gonna smell like chickens. All right, so what you up to here? Uh, we're gonna put the chick chickies in the sled, and then we're gonna hook them up to the to the quad. Quad to the quad, and we're gonna move them over to the chicken tractors, put them in the chicken tractors, and yeah. Sweet. Let's do it. Okay, so we got them in the sled. It was harder to do all of them at a time. All of them instead of just one at a time. Just like a couple groups at a time. It was harder to do all of them. So so we found a way just to divide them and we're just pulling them instead of using, instead of using the quad. You have to put them in while I hold this up. Okay. All right, don't drop them. Oh, this one stinks. Oh, you aren't pooped. Jeez. All right, you ready, Soph? Yep. Put that in there for him. Mm -hmm. Grab that other one there, too. Yep. Put it away from, you know, a little ways away. Like that? Yep. Awesome. There you go, chickies. What do you think? Now what do we gotta do? Um, Go clean the brooder. Yeah. Well, Sophie and I got the uh, brooder coop cleaned out here. As you can see behind me, just threw it on the compost pile. Didn't figure you guys wanted to watch a bunch of uh, poop being shoveled, so. And what we got going on over here? Let's see. Looks like a chicken take a dirt bath. A couple of them there, take a dirt bath. Yeah, they do that. Got a couple eggs today. And what else? A couple uh, roosters right there just chilling out. So, well, we got all our chores done for today. I don't know exactly what we're gonna do for the rest of the day, but maybe we'll have free time or something. You know, I'm gonna get in the garden here a little bit and uh, maybe do a little bit of weeding. Pick a couple of tomatoes that are ready. 
Oh, what's what else here? We got our chickies. Got our chickies in the chicken tractors over here. So they're doing good, all fed and watered and enjoying that grass. They don't know exactly what to think about it because it's brand new. So they've never seen grass before yet. What do you think, Soph? Cool. What's cool? Yep, and we're getting quite a few eggs a day now. Now we just gotta get that garden harvested and get a bunch of venison for the freezer. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right guys, uh, I think I'll uh, I'll get back with you when we start uh, grilling, huh? Yep. Do a little bit of grilling, I'll show you how I do the awesome Ganya venison. <laughs> Well, things are winding down here on Ghani Farms on this Saturday, and uh, we got a little something, something on the grill. You want to check it out? Ooh. Potatoes. Potatoes and onions and garlic. Yep. And then we're going to, Sophie, you want to show them the, grab one of those packages. And we got uh, a little bit of venison T-bone to go with it, so... We're eating good here. Oh, yeah. Hey guys, we tried some uh, venison T-bone here on the, uh, the old cast iron skillet on the grill and it is awesome. You sh if you have a cast iron skillet and a grill, give it a shot. Uh, all I do is put a little bit of flour on the, uh, the T-bone and let it cook for a couple minutes aside. It's super easy and it's one of the best things you can eat. Hey guys, thanks for following along with us today with this quick vlog. Uh, we were just kind of showing you what we were doing on the weekend here without Mama Ganya around. So uh, me and Soph knocked out quite a few tasks today. So it was awesome. We got a lot of stuff done. We got our our back 40 brush hog for deer season. Uh, we moved the meat chickens and kept them fed and watered. What is going on back there? Holy moly. <laughs> And uh, we did a few other things around. Oh, we made uh, we made venison T-bone uh, and potatoes for dinner. And I'm going to go inside and eat. <laughs> so, <laughs> hey, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if, you know, you guys like to follow along, um, you know, subscribe and, you know, like this, like this vlog. Yeah. Right, Soph? Like, subscribe, and share. There Bye. you go. Hey, Sophie told you to, not me. So, hey, thanks again, guys. We'll see you later.